As interest and demand continues to grow around clean energy like wind and solar, a new report is calling for officials to consider nuclear and can-do reactors to secure affordable energy now and in the future. According to a report by the NGO Canadians for Nuclear Energy, there is a window of opportunity for Ontario to meet its energy needs through the province's Kandu nuclear plants. The report says current refurbishments at the Kandu facilities offer a smooth transition to investment in new reactors. It also boasts a skilled workforce and supply chain trained on the nuclear technology. Well, joining us now to tell us more about this report and the push for new Kandu reactors in Ontario is Dr. Chris Kiefer, president of Canadian for nuclear energy. Dr. Kiefer, welcome back to Forum Daily. Hi, Nima. Thanks for having me. So for those uh, who may not know, what exactly are CANDU reactors and how do they compare to other sources of clean energy like solar and wind? So uh, CANDU nuclear technology is our homegrown, made in Canada solution to, uh, to climate change and, and air pollution problems. The special thing about them um, is that they are a Canadian innovation. They were designed by and for Canadians and our needs. So they use something called natural uranium, for instance, and they can be entirely manufactured here in country. And that's, you know, in contrast to things like wind and solar with an overseas supply chain, mostly in China. The other thing, of course, is that nuclear is a reliable source of electricity that is on when we need it on, whereas wind and solar are dependent on the weather. And in a world of climate change and increasingly unstable weather, it may not be such a smart idea to build an electricity system that depends on that weather. Some very interesting points there, Dr. Kiefer. Now, uh, this report highlights coming electricity shortfalls in Ontario. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about these shortfalls and how nuclear can help fill this gap? Absolutely. I mean, there's no controversy here that Ontario's in a crunch. Um, we're bringing a lot of manufacturing back to the province and just the population and economy are growing quite quickly. And so, you know, can-do nuclear technology represents a very smooth way to balance that increasing load that's coming. We're building upon a legacy here where we brought 22 can-do reactors online in 22 years. So we've met that increasing demand in the past, and my group is calling for us to build upon that legacy, and we're really well prepared to do that because of how active our nuclear sector has been uh, with refurbishing our existing CANDA units. And on that note, as we mentioned, CANDA facilities in Ontario are being refurbished, but your organization is currently pushing for new CANDA reactors. Uh, so tell us a little bit more about why we need new ones. Sure. So the refurbishments are, are vital and they're very important for maintaining our existing ultra low carbon grid. We have one of the best grids in the world when it comes to low emissions. But we're being told now that we need to double or even triple the capacity of our grid for electrification, for things like electric vehicles and heat pumps. And so, again, uh, this represents a huge opportunity because our refurbishments basically are putting in brand new components into the reactors, bringing them back to a, a brand new condition or as good as new condition. And that gives us all the experience we need in terms of the supply chain, the workforce and the project management to deliver these new nuclear builds, which are required really moving forward ahead of schedule and on budget as we're doing with our refurbishments. All right. And how many new candid reactors is this report calling for and how much of an investment would this be for officials? So we're calling for 10 new CANDU reactors to be planned uh, in the near future to meet um, not just climate demand, but just the organic demand, again, of manufacturing that's returning to the province. This is going to be a tens of billions of dollar investment, you know, and, and that applies to really any mega project. It's important to recognize that our Green Energy Act, which subsidized wind and solar, will cost us $60 billion for those 20 years of contracts. Our existing CANDU fleet and inflation-adjusted dollars, that's 20 CANDU reactors, cost us $56 billion. So we know that CANDU can be very competitive and actually deliver a lot more value because, again, that power is there around the clock when we need it. All right, and bringing this back to our viewers, just uh, how much more electricity would these new CANDU reactors create at these facilities in Ontario, and what would this look like for broader Canada and Canadians? Sure, sure. I mean, so this is enough power for something like five or six million homes, uh, as well as the factories, again, that we're bringing back. You know, recent news, a German company, Volkswagen, setting up a battery plant here in Ontario. We have a number of uh, high carbon steel facilities that are moving to electric arc furnaces. These kind of facilities require 24-7 power around the clock. Um, and really, we're, we're at risk of, of brownouts here in Ontario if we don't take quick action. 
you know, our nuclear sector in Ontario is obviously, you know, not just uh, world leading, but it, it's Canada leading. And we have a lot of expertise to offer to the rest of the country. And, and we're doing that by developing a small modular reactor, uh, which will be a good fit for other provinces that are still burning coal and a lot of natural gas like Alberta, Nova Scotia um, and Saskatchewan. All right, Dr. Kiefer, lots to consider here. Thank you again for joining us today on Forum Daily. It's a pleasure, Nima. Thanks for having me back.